And I'm going to tell you, our politics in Wisconsin is going to change. We are going to elect a pro-labor, pro-democracy governor, and we are going to reverse what is happening. That is in process now. Our friends in Ohio, in a matter of weeks, are going to use a veto referendum to overturn their anti-labor law and restore the rights of their unions. And this movement, which is so influenced Occupy Wall Street and everything else, is rolling across this country. I'm going to tell you something. When you go to these streets, when you push back, when you and Ann and your allies go out there and fight, you are no longer fighting alone. This is not a New Jersey struggle. This is not a Wisconsin struggle. This is a national struggle. And we will go to the streets, and then we will go to the ballot boxes, and we will not just reverse the errors of their ways. We will fundamentally change this country so that never again Will a child have to say, Mama, I didn't get lunch today because the rich man needed the money? Never again will a patient be turned away from a hospital because they don't have insurance. Never again will a nurse be told, never again will a nurse be told that your work is not respected, your work is not necessary. We will understand as a country that when I save a life, I'm a hero. But if I save a thousand lives, I'm a nurse. We will understand who we respect and who the value in this republic. We're going to change America, and I'm going to tell you, I can't wait to come back to New Jersey and to march with you and to stand with you in the streets and to walk with you to those polling places in New Jersey. They might even let me go. And, <laughs> and to get yeah, twice. And, <laughs> but to sweep a change across this state. I know it's hard. I know these have been tough times. I know it's been tough, but the change is coming. There's kids sleeping on Wall Street. They're sleeping for you. There's people marching in Madison. They're marching for you. There's people who are gonna vote in Ohio. They're voting for you, and they are voting for the America where you are respected, you are paid, you have the benefits you need, and you are a part of a great democratic republic that no longer is balanced against your interests, but is in fact balanced on behalf of your interests, on behalf of your patients, on behalf of a future for your children that you can give them with pride and love.